It was not an inspiring performance, even among his biggest fans. He was kind of soft on Trump. He seemed a little soft-spoken. I would have liked there to be a more aggressive push towards showing how, why Trump is not fit to be there. If Joe Biden's supporters were left crestfallen by the lack of oomph from their president, Donald Trump's supporters seemed genuinely upset. I think it's very sad, seriously, that he is out there and they're letting him do that. I feel like it's almost elder abuse, what we're doing to him. My concern and fear is having this man, Biden, president for five more months after watching even the first three seconds. Even Vice President Kamala Harris acknowledged that it was a slow start with a strong finish. And with Trump playing to his base with falsehoods and provocations, there's little belief that Thursday's debates will convince anyone to change sides. And I think Republicans are probably feeling really confident tonight. And who knows, maybe in three or four days when we see polling, things will really have shifted. I think I wouldn't be so overconfident if I were them because I just I don't think Trump changed anybody's mind tonight. Undecided voters in swing states are key to the election. According to pollster Frank Luntz, one thing they can agree on after the debate is that Biden should be replaced as the Democratic nominee. Order for Biden. <laughs>